Welcome to Putting Power. All right, before I get started, um, I've got to give a special thanks to a good buddy of mine. His name is Neil, and uh, he has a channel on YouTube called Teardrop RV Travels. Um, he made the new uh, intro for my channel. I had made one too, and I liked mine, but I loved his. And I kind of liked the music he had for his. I loved mine, but there's just something about the way he did that that I really love it. Um, so, Neil with Teardrop RV Travels, uh, dude, thank you, God bless you, and I love you to death, brother. And anyway, so today, uh, today I've done work on a cabinet. Um, it's a little cabinet beside the door. And I've been doing it. I actually, when I first made it, I made it out of scrap material. And I didn't have enough materials to finish it, so it kind of looked like crap for a while. And you could see inside of it and everything. So what I did today was I finished that cabinet, so I got it completely done. And then I got everything back on top of it. And you will see that in this video. Uh, another thing that you will see in this video is that I am now on Instagram. And I will post the name and everything you will actually see it when I make this video and edit it and all that stuff um, I don't know how to post things so you can actually go right directly to it uh, this old redneck ain't that smart yet uh, I'm 48 years old and I'm learning electronics like I've never learned electronics so um, it's a ride I'm telling you um, I'm used to old school. I'm used to dial-ups and cassettes and 8-tracks and now I'm having to use computers and everything else and it's uh, it's challenging but I love I love that um, I'm learning how to do it. Um, it's not going fast <laughs> by any means but I am learning it. So get ready to enjoy the ride today. Uh, I hope you like the video and I will catch you on the flip side. Hi right, y'all. This is going to be one of the very few times I ever show my place being a mess, but this is the cabinet I'm trying to make, and I'm trying to get this right here filled in, and I want to put a shelf in here so I can slide stuff in the inside. What's up? Anyway, I'm here, and I told you guys that as soon as I got that cabinet done, that I'd take a video and show you, and as you've seen, there was nothing to it, and it was pretty much a pile of crap. So I got it finished. It's not the best thing looking. It's not the best looking thing in the world, but it will do. And uh, it's actually not that bad, I don't think. So I'm gonna turn the camera around. You take a gander at it, and you tell me what you think. If you like it, let me know. So here it is. And uh, if you remember right, before there was not that. There was not that. There was no shelf. And I finished everything out so I could actually put a shelf in there and a little tray that fit in there, my flippers and some gloves. And it didn't turn out that bad. Actually, I really like it. Um, just let me know what you think. But that's another project. Checked off the list. Alright. Now you get to see me in my full redneck sexiness. I end up having to buy something and I got it right here and I wanted to open it right here on film that way you guys can see what I unfortunately had to end up buying because of an incident that happened down in Yuma. So, I had to end up buying a couple of these, and they were a necessity. Now, if any of y'all live in an RV, I think y'all know what these are to begin with. These are stabilizing jacks. I am going to go outside and get a picture or a video of what mine looked like and why I had to buy two of these. I didn't want to. I didn't like the idea of having to. But I got two of them and there's a good reason for it. So let's take a gander outside. 
So, of course you all know, this is the battle wagon, or Beulah. This is Beulah. I'm going to turn the camera around and I'm going to show you why I had to get those new jacks. I want you to see that and see how twisted that thing is and how jacked up it is. The rod that goes in, that actually screws the thing up and down, which is this right here. Halfway in the middle, it is bent to crap. And uh, this happened down in Yuma, and over time it's just gradually gotten worse and worse. So I had to break down and go buy two new ones. This one's pretty bad, and I think I'm going to put the other one on the other front. The two back ones are actually pretty good. Oh, by the way, new generator. I ain't using it yet because I'm plugged in, but... And the back ones, this one was actually put on right as I bought the RV, and it's still really good. And the other one on the other side, if you can see through there, actually, let's just walk around. This one here is still in really good condition. But if you notice in the front of these, they have these that kind of block the rock and everything from those bending. The front don't have that. So, oh, look. It's the thing that almost went up my behindy. Um, this one's not really bad, but I think I might go ahead and replace it. Or I might just replace the other one and hang on to the other one in case I absolutely need it. This one still works pretty good though. So, right, so I'm back in the RV. Um, I wanted to show you that. Um, and I wanted to explain a few things. Stabilizer jacks are not leveling jacks. They're not to level out your RV. They're to keep it stable so it doesn't rock back and forth or forward to backwards. Leveling blocks are the thing that looks like Legos that you put underneath the tires and you put one underneath the tongue and that's how you level it. Um, those will... Uh, the leveling blocks, or the Legos, what I call them, they will level your RV out from side to side and then I've got a power jack on the front do not have a hand crank thank you God but um, so I level it that way the stabilizer jacks are just to stabilize the RV it's not to um, get it up off the ground and hold any weight they are mainly just to hold it still at least from what I've been told and what I've seen online they are not to level so remember that it's it's good advice to remember so anyway oh and I've just remembered I just opened an Instagram account and it's called Puddin the Travelin Redneck so if you want to go take a gander look me up on uh, Instagram I haven't done Twitter or none of that stuff yet I don't think I'm gonna go that far as to go to Twitter but I did do Instagram so remember the red uh, pudding the traveling redneck and I don't know how to put stuff in the description yet so bear with me I'm learning this stuff slowly I don't know how to do any of that stuff so I'm trying but um, I will try to get it to put in the description or have somebody teach me how to do that um, like I said these like I think I've done what 13 videos so far this is my first time ever dealing with what you call high-tech electronics, so to speak. So, and this old guy is learning, trying to learn, and there's going to be some screw-ups along the way. So, just letting you know. Bear with me. Anyway, I'll catch you in the next video. Welcome. To school time with Puddin, an educational class. So, boys and girls, we have a few words today. And our first word is delights. You can't drive at night unless you turn the lights on. Stupid, but I like it. Second word maple. Pudding is a nice guy, but he may pull your hair out. 
And then I'll have a little bonus footage here in a second. I gotta go outside and record it. You Chevy fans, be ready. Here I am outside. This is not what I'm gonna be videoing, but there was a lady in the first video that asked me to do her a small favor. So I'm out here by my truck and I am actually going to do that for her and I'm going to show you what's all on the back of my truck and I made every one of them. Turn it around. Alright y'all, I just spent probably 45 minutes going through my back old videos trying to find the lady's name that wanted me to take a picture of that decal that I have on the back of my truck. I cannot find it and I cannot find her name or anything anywhere I was going to give her a shout out. Um, if you are watching this, the one that had left that message about taking a picture of that because, or I guess her husband loved it and thought it was cool, um, comment below and let me know who you are. Uh, I just think it's a great idea uh, to get to know my uh, subscribers. So, and that's one thing that stuck out in my head quite a bit was that message. So, and I finally did it. And I, just, I apologize. It took me so long to get it to you and to do it. But I finally got it done. So I hope you're okay with that. Okay, here's the first one. You know what that is. Never mind. Second one down here. Alcohol, tobacco, and firearms should be a convenience store, not a government agency. And this is the one that she wanted me to record. And that is on the back of my F-150. And I love it. You're welcome. So we're going to go up here. Pretty much the same on both sides. I got RDNK, short for redneck. Redneck with the stickers get her done and then the middle one I love this I don't skinny dip I chunky dunk us chubby guys we got to uh, chunky dunk we can't skinny dip we make too big of a splash then on this side which I've actually been stopped by a cop and he wanted one of these and it's the shape of a badge and of course you can read it and then I have that, of course. So, all right, let me turn this around. Where I'm at, I'm not, I want to say that I'm in town, but I'm not in town. Because there's still desert around here. And the guy where I'm staying at has got some good property. Oh, by the way, that still runs really, really well. What I'm about to show you is uh, quite actually, the only way to describe it is it's now yard art <laughs> which I love so let me turn the camera around I have here I think if I'm not mistaken is a 2004 GMC Sierra oh look at this it has a tampon for an engine oh dear god it's a, I, the only thing I have to agree with this truck is it is a very pretty blue color. But it is now yard art. There is nothing else with this. Evidently it has a blown head gasket or something. And it will not run at all. It is a nice color, color of truck, but that's all Chevys are used for. Giant yard art. And to top it all off, it's a dually, which makes it kind of look goofy but I told my buddy that lives here that I was going to do this and he said to be ready for the repercussions I'm getting myself prepared for repercussions so anyway so that's the yard art I wanted to tell you about that does not run and it is a Chevrolet made by the Chevrolet Motor Company crap and you guys have the, the balls to say that you know what uh Found on road dead. <laughs> Found in driveway dead. <laughs> hope you enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And I will catch you on the flip side. Y'all have a fantastic day. Be kind to one another. And just, just be safe. 
Just a good old boy Never meaning no harm Beats all you never saw Been in trouble with the law Since the day they was born